Well, it has been nearly two months since a tornado damaged many structures, including two churches outside of Salado. The cleanup and rebuilding process is underway for many, including First Cedar Valley Baptist Church. And 6 News anchor Bailey Bates joins me now in studio. Bailey, you were out there today. You learned that the church is seeing the issue of inflation now when they go to rebuild after this natural disaster. Absolutely, Chris. And you know, it's something that we've been seeing a lot now. We've seen the price of construction going up, especially in lumber, and the supply chain is tight. But the pastor believes it's all part of a plan and for the better. It's been a trying time for many along FM 2843 after a tornado wreaked havoc, wiping structures like this church down to its slabs. God is going to take care of us no matter what. I believe that with all my heart. Pastor Johnny Jackson says his congregation at First Cedar Valley Baptist Church has been leaning on their faith. Never missed a beat. We have uh, had service every Sunday. Because as Jackson says, the church isn't the building. It's the people. They have come together even greater than before. We have added to our numbers since the tornado. They had Sunday service on the slab, in tents, and most recently in a portable building. But since day one, he said they would rebuild. We actually did start the following week after that. Now you see the walls going up. The resurrection of the First Cedar Valley Baptist Church building is just beginning. Uh, everything is basically the same as the old structure was, except uh, we added 10 feet to the back of the sanctuary. And Expanding their walls as their congregation the, uh, grows. Uh, fellowship hall and 14 feet to the Sunday school room wing. But rebuilding comes with a price and it's even higher as inflation plagues the country. It's going to cost over twice as much of what it would probably a year and a half ago, even two years ago at the most. Jackson says it wasn't part of the summer plans or the budget, and it's not exactly the best time, but. When God's hand is in it, doesn't matter. When he wants you to do it, you do it, and he provides. And he's done that. He's done that already. He says people have lent a hand as they build the walls up, including throwing a benefit concert with all proceeds and donations going back to the church as they get through this trying time. The concert is going to be next Friday, June 17th at Crossroads Church in Belton. The Irwins Group decided to make their planned concert a benefit to give back to their lifetime friends and family of the First Cedar Valley Baptist Church. And they are lifelong friends with them. And Pastor uh, Jackson tells me they hope they are back in that new church in six months. Six months. Okay, maybe they can get it done. I mean, the attitude is everything, and yeah. they seem to be very optimistic. They're, they're right? just leaning on that weather and the supply chain. <laughs> okay, well, we'll see what happens there.